I leave the house disappointed. My dog doesn't fit. I'd seen photos of the 2017 Callaway Corvette Aero Wigan and had high hopes that Bo Darville, my 60-pound flat coat retriever, could stand up in the car's expanded cargo area. It is a wagon, or a wagon, after all. Not even close, although your chihuahua or small labradoodle will fit just fine. Callaway calls the Aero Wigan a shooting brake. The company reminds us that the term was developed by the British for vehicles modified to carry shooting parties and their gear. More recently the label has been attached to high-performance GT coupes like the Ferrari FF and subsequent GTC4 Lusso. But the CEO and founder of Callaway Cars isn't interested in hauling guns, or apparently dogs. His passions are cars and golf. The C7 design is a natural platform for this shooting brake approach says Callaway, whose father Ely created Callaway Golf in 1984. The luggage space in the car is already best in class. But now we can carry three full-size Callaway Golf bags. Is there another 200 mile per hour GT car that can do that? I have no idea. I don't golf. I drive. I fire up the Callaway supercharged 757 horsepower 6.2 liter V8 and head for Malibu in the Santa Monica Mountains. PCH to Las Flores to Ramble Pachifico to Sheeran to Stunt to Mulholland, past the Rock Store, through the Snake, down Canaan, back to PCH. It's the route. And it makes everything better. An hour later the Corvette's carbon ceramic brakes are red hot. The contents of its gas tank have been burned and I'm happy again. This car is scary fast. No surprise, scary fast Corvettes have been Callaway's business for 30 years. In 1987 the company, founded by Reese Callaway, struck a deal to sell C4 Corvettes with twin turbo engines, Nacaducks and a full GM warranty through Chevy dealers. The cars were ordered under RPO B2K and bumped the sports car's L98 tuned port 5.7 liter small block from 235 horsepower to 345 horsepower and 465 pound feet of torque. Those weren't big numbers in 1987, they were colossal. Remember, the ZR1 was still three years away, and the Corvette team needed something to fight off the 245 horsepower Buick Grand National and the 547 GNX models Buick was about to unleash with 276 horsepower. A year later the company built the fastest street legal Corvette ever. It went 254 miles per hour, so to play with AMG's hammer, a tuned mid-size Mercedes W124 that was the world's fastest sedan. Callaway called its car the sledgehammer. Along the line Callaway switched to supercharging, as well as spreading out to Camaros, trucks, and SUVs. Today Chevy dealers will gladly order you a blown Corvette, Camaro, Silverado, Tahoe, or Suburban pumped up. <laughs>